Sure. Uh, currently, there are a number of therapeutic options that we have for our patients with eosinophilic esophagitis, or EOE. Uh, unfortunately, however, there are no FDA-approved medical therapies for eosinophilic esophagitis, so all of our therapies are being done off-label. Uh, the therapeutic options do include elimination diets, getting rid of common food allergens from the patient's diets as a way to treat patients. Um, another strategy is using proton pump inhibition, or PPIs, uh, which are effective in about 30 to 50 percent of patients. And one of the mainstays for uh, patients in 2019 is the use of swallowed topical corticosteroids. Uh, but these medications were designed for asthma, so they're being used off-label for eosinophilic esophagitis. So the data that I presented today was on the budesonide oral suspension. It is the first phase three trial ever to be conducted and completed in the United States. And the study did demonstrate um, its two co-primary efficacy endpoints, that being a symptom improvement and histologic efficacy. So it's the first trial again to be conducted in the U.S., uh, first phase three trial to be conducted and completed in the U.S. It's actually also the largest EOE trial ever con conducted globally, and also the first trial to ever use a validated PRO, Patient Reported Outcome Instrument, uh, as a primary outcome for eosinophilic esophagitis. You know, in terms of regulatory approval, um, the uh, trial is, uh, this was an induction trial that I presented today, a 12-week uh, trial, again, showing the efficacy of the co-primary endpoints. Um, the study is continuing now to a second phase, which is the maintenance trial, which is going on for 36 weeks.